If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coins, check out FIFA Ultimate Team Coins. Their link will be in the description and use the code ETHONY to get 5% off. What is up guys, welcome to a video where I'm going to be showing you the best method to snipe some of these players. Some of them are very hard to actually snipe because of the amount of pip, like people that are going to be searching for them. So you're going to have to be faster than like the first couple of thousand people that are going to be trying to snipe them. So you need fast reactions. This method or any sniping method will not work if you have slow reactions. So if you're old and with slow reactions, then GG. Anyway, if you guys are looking for a cheap place to get PSN cards or Microsoft points, check the link in the description. Uh, to get ready for the pin cards, I think they come out on Wednesday. That's what I'm speculating because the, the voting ends today. So they have a couple of days to get ready for Wednesday. That's what I'm speculating. So anyway, let's get on with business. So as you guys can see, everyone on this squad screen is extinct. Every single person except obviously, you know, the normal silver cards like Abate and so on and so forth. And I was actually able to snipe every single one here except, you know, um, Barardi. I packed him and then while I was able to pack him. But I mean, he appeared so many times on the market where you could actually just snipe him and he's 850k. But now he, it, it's just very hard to actually try and uh, snipe some of these players. But if you want to snipe him, make sure you wait until the pink players are released because some people will be listing up some extinct players to actually try and uh, open packs. So the first thing you need to do is I'm going to be trying to snipe Dempsey, man of the match card, even though he's out of packs. Actually, Dempsey wouldn't be a good option because he's out of packs. So one thing that you have to keep in mind is if they're out of packs, they're not going to be listed often. But for the for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be trying to search for someone that's actually still in packs so he gets listed often. So I could actually search for Vargas, but the problem is I don't think he's often listed. So maybe a Vidal would be listed more often, even though he's an 88 overall. So the way to do it is I already have a Vidal. He's in my, he's in my transfer list. Um, because I need to search him as a concept player and if I have him in my team he won't appear as a concept player so this is what you need to do you search for him and then 88 overall and then you press search for player on transfer market once and then that comes up now you need to have a fast internet connection because if you don't then it's just gonna lag while you're trying to snipe some of these players if it doesn't lag then your internet connection is good enough Sometimes it might it may, it may lag every now and then, but uh, it should be all right if it lags every now and then because it does it to me. Now, you have to put the 10K minimum price. That's the way I do it. Some people prefer to do this where they change the quality to um, gold and any, but I just can't do that. Uh, I can do it, but it's just too slow. I have very slow reactions when it comes to that. I don't know. I just don't find it as a natural movement, if you guys know what I'm saying. So the way I do it is... I make the uh, the pricing, the minimum price 10k and I make sure to keep going to the left so I keep going lower and lower every search. Now the reason you change the, the price is so you can refresh the search because if you don't, I think the search refreshes after 30 seconds so you will never find a fucking uh, player on the market if you keep just searching with 10k as your minimum price. That's why you have to keep changing the amount so it thinks it's a new search and you're doing it every second. So that's the only way to do it. Now like I said, I go lower and to the left rather than higher and to the right. The reason I do that is because I might lose my rhythm and then if I'm doing it too fast enough and I click to the right, it might go to nationality and that will mess up my rhythm. So I'm gonna go lower and then see what happens. So this is how fast you have to do it. If you can't do it this fast, you're gonna have to practice it. Even when there's no players on the market, this is the, see, that, that's what I mean when it lags. So when it lags like that, you lose a couple, you might even lose him on, like if he appears on the market. But this is how quick you have to be. You have to try and snipe him and uh, just keep refreshing your search this quickly. If you don't, then you're gonna probably lose the player. So 6.6, 6.5, that's how quick you have to keep going. Um, hopefully it appears like on the on the market because of you know the purpose of this video is just tr trying to prove to you this is the most uh, ideal way to snipe a player in my opinion this is the way I've uh, been sniping my players so let's see all right so I decided to change the player I'm searching for because Vidal just doesn't seem to be appearing at all so I'm going to be trying to snipe Vargas this time and that's how fast you need to be to snipe a player off the market so. As soon as he appears, you have to press down. I think it was, yeah, buy now. You, make, you need to make sure you go to down to buy now and then up to yes, that fucking quickly. If you don't have as fast reactions as that, then pretty much there's no hope. But that is the most effective uh, way to snipe some of these players. I just proved to you how quick I can snipe a player as long as he appears on the market. Um, it's the only way to do it. 
it's uh, unfortunately that's the only way but that's the most effective way i find to uh, to snipe some of these players so there you go guys we were able to get a duplicate vogas well he's not a duplicate but is he a fresh one that's even uh that's mm, he's not fresh all right guys so that is how i snipe some of these players i have two vogases in my transfer list one that has been pack pulled and the other one that i just showed you guys i've sniped which one's the one that i sniped this one so there you go that is how to do it boys make sure you have false reactions if you don't practice so you could actually learn the movement you need to do when the player shows up when the player uh, appears on the market so that's all that's the only um, advice i could give you guys let me know if you have any other questions in the comment section below um about sniping some of these players that's my methods i know some people would prefer different ones but that is the way i snipe my players and i've showcased that it is amazing for me personally as you guys can see, we have sniped so many extinct players and I have one of the rarest clubs in FIFA. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it and hope you guys have a very nice day.